Now, it was the moment that weather forecaster Michael Fish will never live down. He told millions of viewers watching his forecast that a woman had rung in to say there was a hurricane on the way. But there wasn't. Well, hours later, of course, the south of England was battered by the worst storm since 1703. Well, I went along to meet him at home and apparently we've got it all wrong. The great storm of 1987. Now, you got the blame on the BBC for not forecasting that. But, but you say it wasn't you. Well, it wasn't me for two reasons. First of all, I wasn't even on duty. It was Bill Giles who was on the afternoon, afternoon evening before, and he actually said it'll be a little breezy up the channel, which I think was a bit of an underestimate, to say the least. But the main reason, of course, is it's got nothing to do with Bill and nothing to do with me at all. The forecast is produced by a computer, uh, as it was in those days, the matter was headquarters at Bracknell. And if there's anything to blame at all, it's, it's the computer. But nonetheless, if you look on the internet, there's, oh, yes. yeah, th there's someone who looks remarkably like <laughs> you saying, and I quote, earlier today a woman rang the BBC yeah. and said she heard that there was a hurricane on the way. Well, if you're watching, don't worry, there isn't. But having said that, actually, the weather will become very windy. I deny it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you categorically deny not forecasting the great storm. I categorically deny not forecasting it, but I don't categorically deny making the stupid remark that went with it. <laughs> Winds of 115 miles an hour, it was serious, yeah. 2.6 yeah. billion pounds of damage, a death toll of 18 in Britain. It was catastrophic, wasn't it? It was catastrophic, but we, there are, I mean, thank heavens in a way that it wasn't that well forecast, and thank heavens it was in the middle of the night, because if it had been well forecast, I think a lot of people would have been out and about trying to tie down their fences and all sorts of things, I'm sure. And again, if it hadn't been at night, the, the death toll would have been far, far higher. And you got such an incredible publicity, and you were, as you say, much younger then, much, much more yeah. junior. Did you think, oh, I, I can't stand this, I, I, I might quit? Or, or? Well, there was, a, there was a time, yes, because uh, obviously to have about 30 reporters camped outside your house for days on end wasn't the best of things. As a result of all that, partly as a result of it, the National Severe Weather Warning Service was, was founded. Absolutely. Has that worked well? That's worked very well. I, I like it, and the system's been tweaked a bit since, but it's very good. The way we have these yellow, amber and red warnings, I think it gets the message, message across. Michael, our own weather is becoming more and more unpredictable, isn't it? We're getting more floods and things like this. Why? Well, yes and no. It's not unpredictable. I have to throw that one back at you. It's actually becoming more predictable. But what we are having, you quite rightly said, is more, more floods because there is much more energy. Again, we have to put it down to probably global warming. The atmosphere is warmer, the sea is warmer, there's more water vapour in the atmosphere as a result, and therefore there are bigger and better weather systems. And this is not only shown here in Britain, but in America as well. As we've got the great Michael Fish here and it's a joy to talk to you sir would you mind just looking straight into that camera there and telling our viewers that we will never ever have a great <laughs> storm like in 1987 no because i can't guarantee that what we will never have is a hurricane because it wasn't a hurricane couldn't be a hurricane and never will be a hurricane but i can't guarantee we won't have similar storms in fact it's more likely that we'll have similar storms michael fish lovely to talk to you sir thank you Lovely man. Seemed really nice. Yeah.